So pick me. Choose me. Love me. Rejected. Have you ever cheated before? Not with another human. So, what do you mean? Uh, I cheated on my boyfriend with his dog. <laughs> it was a golden retriever. I mean, how did your boyfriend find out? He opened the door and I was in the doggy position with his doggy. <laughs> sex is enough to keep a relationship together oh my god sex is so important in a relationship <laughs> yes normally when i get to know someone and i really like them i'm not gonna have sex with them like if they're bad or something i will take it into consideration i mean i think you can always teach a guy how to be better <laughs> but if that doesn't work and sex is really important to you then no it's not gonna work out so would you say you have good puss I can't answer that. That is confidential. Confidential information. Is it good enough to keep a man with nothing else? No, because guys will fuck anyone. So it doesn't matter if you have good pussy or not. So what else would you need to do to keep a man in a relationship? You know, I've been with a lot of men. She belongs to the streets. No, dated. You don't find that suspicious? Men? and I still haven't figured it out. I don't know what keeps a man. You can be the hottest person ever, you can be the smartest girl ever, you can have the most money, and it never keeps a man. Add value, complement his lifestyle, and be in his peace. That's how you keep and retain a man. Why would I bring anything? I'm not bringing anything to the table. I'm not bringing a fucking thing to the table other than this fat ass, these big titties, this pretty little fight. No, that's it. That's it, that's all you get from me. That's it. And I'm going to take your money. A hundred percent. Yes. This is why I love social media. It's exposing women for whom they truly are. Now she has told you she brings nothing but her body to the table and she will take your money. And gentlemen, this is why you have to properly vet women before taking them seriously. But I'm sure she'll find a simp out there who'll take her seriously. How many sugar daddies have you had total? Probably like 30. Oh, wow. Damn. Wow. Sorry. 30 total? Okay. Yeah. Also, I'm including like pay pigs. What's a pay pig? A pay pig is basically someone that, like, I want you to drain my bank account type thing. Like, a pay pig is someone that submits to you. I've yep. had one pay pig in person and he would like bow down and like, you know, show up to my house and just like knock on the door, put the money there and then leave. Average. Are such a plague. <laughs> yeah. It's, <laughs> such a plague. It's, it's bad. Um, how many of the 30 total that you've had would you say have sent you more than $100,000? Uh, not too many. Probably only like seven. Do you have a name for them? Oh, like you call, are they? <laughs> yeah. It's, so wait, that would you're 20. Yeah. And you've made not counting your OnlyFans. It sounds like you've made over a million dollars from pay pigs and sugar daddies. Yes. Why is it that when men want their girlfriend or their wife to do something like exercise or lose weight, that the answer is to just get rid of him, to dump him? But when a woman wants her boyfriend, her husband, to do something that will make her more attracted to him, then the answer is that he should just change and comply. A man will sacrifice his happiness for a woman. A woman will push aside a man for her happiness and still not be happy. That's why. In America, you can be anything you want. Don't be with me, gay. Say hard. Has anyone told you that you look beautiful today? No. Mm. You should work on that. Have a good day. Be cold. <laughs> Her money is her money. Our money is her money. No. Your money is your money. Her money is her money. No joint account. None of this nonsense. Yeah. You don't know her bank account number or her PIN number for the ATM. She doesn't know how much you earn, how much you save. Nothing. I can't know anything about her finances. Yes, you shouldn't. Because then you'll be looking for a sugar money.
You smart. Would you say it's easier to be a man or a woman? A man. A man. Why is it easier to be a man? Because they just get everything. What do you mean by that? Girls have to work for it harder than men have to. Period. It's just like historically. So give me an example of something that a man would get easier than a woman. A job. <laughs> Women. <laughs> What's your age? 24. 22. If I was your man, what would I need to pay for for you? Pay for? Nothing. Nothing. So you're not expecting me to pay for dates if we went out? Expect? I don't have expectations for I anybody. I also don't have expectations. I do think it shows character. Actions? Man. Yeah, definitely. It's not about the money. It's just about like how you treat us. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. Boy, ain't no way, boy. So I could be your boyfriend and not be able to afford taking you out on dates and you'd still stick it with me through thick and thin. If you're a good person, that's all that matters. If the chemistry's there. There's some people with loads of money and they treat their girlfriends like shit, so. Does that mean I don't have to pay for your hair or your nails either? No, I've... I Stop the cap. I've never had somebody pay for my hair or nails. Me neither. So for a first date, if I said, let's just go for a walk in the park, you'd be fine with yeah. that too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I prefer a walk in the park than, than a dinner for the first date. Definitely. I think it's more casual and laid back and you can actually get to know the person. Listen, as long as you're waking up every morning and going to work, that's the kind of man I need. Something I notice with a lot of these feminazis, and don't mind my hair, um, is they will always say things to men that are like, if you're broke, if you can't pay for my dinner, if you can't pay for my friend's dinner, if you can't pay for my nails and my hair, that I don't want you. Things like that, and it, oh man, it irks me because these are the same women that will turn around and say things like, if you can't accept me at my lowest, you don't deserve me at my highest. And honey, honey, first off, your highest is when you put on makeup and your lowest is when you wake up in bed. So maybe you should reflect on what you really mean by that. Um, and second, if you can't accept a man at his lowest, you definitely don't deserve him at his best. It's facts! It's facts! It's not facts! These sizes are not facts! At Whanganae Girls High School, there were, what were they like? There was a petition to get litter boxes in our bathroom. For furries, girls because that identify as, as, cats, as and cats and dogs and whatnot. What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? The principal went on leave because of the stress of this. Um, and they ended up taking okay, shits in the in sink. Sinks. A what? What? And you got the in the toilet sink. Why? Because they wanted to identify as cats and dogs. How old? How old were they? They were younger than 17, us. 17, 16. 15, 14. Oh. Maybe. Oh. Even oh. maybe. Yeah. That is crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's yeah. just outrageous. Fungaday, shit town. Do Don't go to Fungaday. The anti-intimacy beds are back for the 2024 Olympics. These twin-sized beds made by Airweave consist of three blocks of thin cardboard topped with a polyethylene mattress designed to support the head, shoulders, and legs, and will make athletes feel very enthusiastic and comfortable while acting as a deterrent for anything other than sleeping. The book, 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 little getting dug out, raw, raw. See, I got pregnant, other things, and. It just got to a point. She ain't gotten pregnant again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Were y'all together? Yeah, yeah. And it wasn't you? Not with me. Ah, oh, come on, <laughs> Kale. It wasn't me. It wasn't and me. you stuck around? Yeah, I stuck around. I stuck around. What? But here's the thing. Here's the thing. Uh, these were things that were being revealed. You know. She telling you this. You a simp! It's an evil world we live in.